Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Artsy Trio. Now you will notice if you've been following Artsy Trio or my channel for a bit that I haven't done these in one, two, three. This is <laughs> I at, and my husband at around Thanksgiving got the virus. You know which one I mean. And it's taken until recently for us to feel more like ourselves. We're not 100%, but pretty close. So anyway, rather than just skipping the last two that I missed and going to the next one, number 30, you know, I thought I'd just play catch up and why not just do all three in one video? Now we will probably fast forward through most of it um, but if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please do leave them down below. If you want copies of these mood boards and any others that we've done already, join the RT Trio Facebook group. Um, I'll link the, leave the link down in the video description along with the links for the other, um, sorry, that's my phone, along with the links for the other um, artists that are creating this month. Uh, we do have a guest artist that helped out quite a bit while I was ill. Thank you so much, Jamie. I so appreciate that. And um, if you want to see what she's done, again, go join the Facebook group because it's all over there. Now, normally I do my mood boards in a journal like this where we do more like art experiments where I play with color and shape. Um, but, you know, I'm really feeling like, and if I don't do this kind of art journaling work, I do more art therapy work. And I do use my creativity, whether it's painting, drawing, journaling, um, needlework, sewing, um, crochet, whatever it is, I use it as therapy. I have anxiety disorder and depression, and uh, it's a constant thing I'm dealing with. And the holidays, between being sick and other stuff that's happened, they've been a little challenging. So I'm thinking we are going to go to an old journal I've had sitting on the shelf for a bit this little mini composition notebook. And this is really something I've used for therapy um, quite a bit in the past. Now, all three of these uh, mood boards have something in common and that would be their sort of wintry, blue, gray, little bit of tan colorway. So I happen to have in the back of this some pages that already have some blue stuff on them. There's actually quite a few of them. So I've got my paints, I've got some bits and pieces, I've got some pens and some glue and my heat gun. And we are going to work on our mood boards here. I'm gonna actually do like I would do in the big book and I'm gonna glue the, book, the um, mood board to the opposite page. And um, then we're gonna work here. So I'm going to do that for all three and I'll see you back when we're done.
Okay, when I went to go grab for the stapler, I think I forgot to turn the camera back on, but you caught most of it. Um, I stapled on the um, paint swatch that I drew on and the leaf and the flower. And then I found this little tea bag quote. I like to drink Yogi brand tea because I like the way they taste, but also all the tea bags have a little quote of some kind on them. I added some butterfly washi tape. I don't think you saw that. I have lots of washi tape. Um, and I added a little bit of paint highlights to our face. I am gonna touch up a couple of the black lines. Just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's not about perfection. This is about expressing myself and my creativity and working through things that you know, set off my anxiety and stuff. And making me happy, as, as it should be with most things in life. So this is my take on this month's mood board. I really like the way it turned out. This is the month before. I love that one. I'm not sure where all of that blue, orange, and yellow came from, from my mind. It was, of course, inspired by the mood board, but yeah, I love the way it turned out. And then this is the one from around Thanksgiving when I got sick. <laughs> so they are all a lot of fun. Sorry, my phone keeps going off. Um, they are all a lot of fun, and it's a great way to get prompted for art journaling when, um, or any artwork, honestly, you could use these if you want to, you know, maybe you want to crochet an afghan and you're like, I have no idea what colors to use. You could use a mood board like this and pick some blues, some tans, some grays. It would make actually a very pretty afghan. Um, but they're intended for art journaling and you can do something more fine art and painting as we've done in the past, um, where we've done sort of just painting experiments in a book like this. Uh, this one here is pretty abstract. Or you can do something more, you know, layered and thicker and um, more interesting. I like this a lot. There is a YouTuber called Berber Van Gorp. That's the name of her channel anyway. And I really like the way she um, does her art journaling. Um, it's very abstracted and layers and all about just how she's feeling. And I'll link her channel down below along with my other co-teachers. Um, so I'd love to see what you do. Um, don't forget to... Um, tag me in your post, whether you do a YouTube video or you join the Facebook group and you put a post over there, tag me in the post so that I can see it. And um, think about joining the group because it is a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun over there. And create some art, have fun with it, express yourself. You don't have to be crazy like me and show the whole planet. Um, Express yourself in your journal, close it up, stick it on a shelf. Let whatever is rumbling around in your mind, keeping you from focusing on what you need to focus on, out in your journal. And then you can close it up, put it on the shelf, put it away, at least for the moment, and focus on those other things in life. I think it's a good way to go. Anyway, that's it for today. Don't forget to go out and have a good day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next month. Bye, guys.